Want to design a stunning poster but don't know where to start? In this video, I will show you how to combine the power of ChatGPT and Canva to create professional poster even if you are not a designer. Let's get started and bring your ideas to life in minutes. So we will go to ChatGPT first just because we have to create the image. So for creating the image in ChatGPT, we will select create image option, click on that and we will write down our prompt so this prompt you can copy from the description so after that you have to click on this arrow icon and wait for some time as you can see it has given you the image now we will download this image and we will upload that in canva so just click on that your image will be downloaded so now we are into the canva home page so here i am going to select the page so i am selecting just instagram portrait size page that is 1080 into 1350 so we will click on that and we will create a blank page so the page has been created now what we will do we will upload the image first so i have already uploaded the image as you can see over here so for this design we are going to first select the image so first select the image then on the page you have to adjust the image so just adjust the image first like this so as you can see this is hiding so we can move this little bit up like this okay so we have adjusted the image next what we will do we will duplicate the image okay like this i am duplicating the image because i have to write the text behind the image okay so we will go over here and click on background remover so we have removed the background of that burger okay then what we will do we will adjust it like this on the same position like this okay so to write down the text we will go to text so we will select a font over here but here i am gonna change the font so we will go to font and here i am just looking for the font that is extender at beta so just click on the font and your font is ready to use next i will write down the text so i am writing the text that is burger i have written the text we will increase the size of it but here i am going to change the color so we will go to text color and here i am going to select this color so we will increase the size of it like this and we will bring it over here but i am hiding this part of that text behind the image which we have copied before so we will go to position and we will click one time backward it will go back to this image okay not that so like that you can hide that one okay so about the color i am going to use in this design i have added the color over here so you can copy the exact color code from the description and i have also added the element which i am gonna use like these so the name of the element also you can copy from the description so after writing this text we will again just duplicate the text but next we are going to use the second font our second font is enter this one so here i am going to select the second color that is this one so you can copy the color code from the description as i have told you before and we are going to decrease the size of it then we are going to write the text that is big so this is our next text then we can play with the size of it and we can make it bold and we can bring it over here so that is done next we can duplicate it and our next text that is deals will be here so we can bring it over here like this and this is also done next what we are going to do we are going to add the elements so we will just select both the element from here and we will bring it over here like this and we are going to bring this one over here and this one we are going to bring on that side so this part has been done and we will start writing our other text so what we will do we will go to elements and in elements i'm going to use this shape okay a square shape then select the color from here change the color to this 
we will rotate it little bit like uh, 5 degree then we will adjust it around here okay like this but this time we are going to write something here later but first let's adjust it over here like this after adjusting this one we will go to position in position we will bring it back to that image okay it will look like this next we are going to copy the same element again you can see in front of that element our this image is there that's why we are not able to copy that one so what we will do we will select the image do the adjustment like this so that you can select that one okay you can make the changes anytime you want like this just duplicate it and bring it over here and we will rotate it like this let's keep it three degree for this one and we will bring it at the bottom like this okay so anytime you want to adjust a little bit you can select all of them like this and make the adjustment because we are having a lot of space in top of the page like this so after making the changes you can see that the background image also we have to do the adjustment so let's select the background image and do the adjustment like this okay so now it's done so what we will do we will write down our text in this shape you can write the text in two ways either just bring this text over here and start writing otherwise you can simply double click over here and it will give you the option to write whatever you want so right now i am writing from 11 am to 1 pm okay so this is our text make sure you are having the same font so right now we are using the inter font over here so for this one also we are going to use the same font like this one make sure it is bold and you can play with the size so let's keep it around 25 for right now so that is done but here we are going to change the color of that text so we will click on text color then here i'm going to select this color okay that is done you can make the adjustment to make sure it is in the center like this okay and that part is also done so next we will write down the text over here so let's duplicate it first and bring it over here and write down the text that is every saturday that is the text i'm going to write over here but here i'm going to make some changes select the text go to spacing we are going to decrease the spacing between the lines we are going to align it on the left side like this rotate it and decrease the size of it so that it will be adjusted over here okay like this five degree right that is done so again we will duplicate it bring it on this side but here we are going to write and sunday that is also done we will do the adjustment little bit okay that is done so this is done so we are having only one option left that is to add the offer so for that we will go to shape in shape we will select this shape actually and we will go to colors and we are going to change the color first so basically with this shape what we will do as you can see we are having this much of corner so we will go to corner rounding and here we will increase the corner rounding to 30 like this so that is done next what we will do we'll go and select this text duplicate it and we will write down the offer that is 25 percent off so write down 25 percent okay again just duplicate it and write down off that is also done so we will do the adjustment just decrease the size of it like this okay so we'll bring both of them in the shape like this make sure it is on the center like this from left to right decrease the size of it if needed like this and that part is done we will select both the text and we will adjust it on the center like this okay that is done next we will select the shape behind and we will group everything together that is done next we can decrease the size of it if needed 
and rotate it like this and make the adjustment if you need and we will bring that one over here okay that is done so this is done next what we will do we will go to elements again and we will search for arrow in arrow we will go to graphics then in, in graphics you can select anyone but right now i am just selecting this one and first we will go over here and change the color so i am changing the color rotate it do the changes like decrease the size of it and bring it over here decrease the size of it like this and rotate it a bit if needed and that part is also done so right now our design has been completed if you found this helpful don't forget to like share and subscribe for more canva tips and ai design hacks good question or want a part two drop a comment below i will love to help see you in the next one till then keep learning keep growing